So, you've been venturing into the world of Counter-Strike 2, says Drew. Well, let me fill you in on the juicy details about the two main game modes, Competitive and Premier. Get ready for some serious gaming knowledge. Let's start with the Premier system. Picture this, you start off as a blank slate without any rank or rating. To earn your first CS rating, you gotta come out on top in at least 10 matches in CS2 Premier mode these matches will determine your initial rating based on a bunch of factors, like your performance, wins, losses, and even the rating of your opponents. So bring your A game. Once you conquer those 10 matches, you're rewarded with a shiny CS rating. The game then goes to great lengths to match you up with players who possess similar skills. Winning will boost your rating while losing will bring it down. And get this, even tying the match as the underdog team can still result in a rating gain. Now, let's talk about the map selection process, which is where things get interesting. In Premier Mode, teams get to choose their battleground using a majority rules-based pick and ban system. This is a departure from the usual competitive mode, where players individually select the maps they want to queue for. It's all about teamwork and collaboration here. But wait, there's more. Counter-Strike 2 brings a game changer, map-specific ranks. That's right, my friend. You can achieve the prestigious global elite rank on one map, like Mirage, while still being unranked or holding a different rank on another map, say Vertigo. This means you have the chance to show off your skills on every single map in the game. How cool is that? In a nutshell, competitive and premier modes offer unique gameplay experiences in c whether you prefer the structured map selection and global ranking system of competitive, or the nail-biting placement matches and map-specific ranks of Premier, both modes are a blast for Counter-Strike enthusiasts like yourself. So dive in, explore, and enjoy the thrill of the game.